She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to me You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, yeah, yeah Yo, what's up YouTube? Back with another video and today I am going to do a very special video today. This video cannot happen without you guys showing all the support that you guys have been showing me. These are actually floor mats from F1 Mats. They actually did send these out to me. They're super nice. All the pattern is super consistent. There's no misstitching. Very high quality. The mats themselves are really soft as you can see just by me pressing it. But yet they're so firm like the backing of it is really strong and super durable, super high quality. So these are actually really good mats. They are by F1 mats. They did a cool little customization feature that everyone gets. So that's just a little cool thing. I think little touches like these is what makes products different from other people. But these are super nice. I really like them. They're gonna fit perfectly. You see how they bend up and then they have a flat spot and then they bend back down. These are actually for the rear. I don't really have people in the rear, but still good to have it all matching. These are actually gonna match really perfectly with the seat covers I did get. Everything's super consistent. So here's the front right passenger side. This covers the carpet on the side. And then on the left side, it also has a little patch right here for when your floorboard goes up. Likewise with here. Quality is immaculate. Absolutely love these floor mats. I can't wait to put them on. See how it's going to change the look of the interior of the car. So I'm really a, all about small details. You guys should know that by now. So here's the driver's side. It has this little like grip mat for your heels so they won't slip. You just get a little bit more traction because these are kind of like slippery so you won't slip when you're driving, especially if you have a six speed. You don't have to worry about your feet slipping with these mats. But they do cover all the carpet. You don't gotta worry about anything being exposed. It even has that plastic area on my side and then it has a little lever hole for the gas cap and it even goes up to the side so nothing's going to be exposed all of it is going to be covered in this pattern which i think is really cool not a lot of people like it but i do like it because it will change the interior and also with the interior lights it's going to make this uh, shine a little bit more you know just a little bit of you know just a little bit of flair to your interior i like to customize my interior just as much as I like to customize my exterior. The installation of these are fairly easy. I've never installed one of these, but I'm pretty sure it's straight to the point. Huge shout out to F1 Mats for sending these mats out here. I want to thank them for giving me an opportunity to put their product out there so I can show you guys what products I like and what I like to buy. Just know you guys, I will never put out a product that I wouldn't buy myself. So I do highly recommend these. These are super amazing. They feel great. Um, one thing that I did tell them is that I didn't like the packaging it did come with. They're gonna get that sorted up, but the packaging it did come, you know, the box was all beat up. But, you know, that was a one-time thing. They will hop on that. 
other than that, these things are amazing. I absolutely love them. I want to thank F1 mats. Let's get into the installation. So the first and most important step of this installation process, you actually have to take off your driver's floor mat. The reasoning behind that is because you never want to double stack a driver floor mat. Uh, it can uh, restrict you from braking or accelerating at any time. This applies to any vehicle that you drive. You never want to double stack floor mats. But onto the installation process, you just got to kind of maneuver the floor mats in. You got to put these pins in. Um, it's kind of a tedious process, but you got to work them really good to get a really good fitment. As you can see here, I show all the little points where you want to make sure that they get stuck in there. I just put them under the those little plastic covers and it is a tedious process, but it can be done and it will look flush. You just got to play with it for a little bit. It's pretty simple on the driver's side. Now let's go to the passengers. Moving on to the passenger side, you do not need to remove the floor mat. There isn't any safety precautions, obviously. But I do recommend to clean and vacuum your floor mats or just remove them completely if you don't want to go through that process. Just so you won't keep any stench that could possibly be on those floor mats. Um, the passenger side is a little bit more difficult because you got to go up under. But it's not a hard process. It's just very tedious, as I said. Um, those little pins are kind of hard to get them all aligned because once you get one in the other one pops out but you just got to stretch out the seats so moving on to the back seat this is actually the hardest step of them all well at least for me I got very uh, disoriented for some weird reason I kept putting them on backwards and then I put them on right and I thought I was putting them on backwards but I was able to get it I found out which way it goes so you actually have to pop off the rear seat it's actually really simple you just got to pull up on the uh, very edges as you can see these little white pins you just got to pull up on them and then you got to fold those in there and put the seat back on and then once the seats back on you can just start to play with it even more and just stretch out the floor mat so they can look nice and flush this process took me about 30 minutes to do um, all it's not that hard uh, it just takes a little bit of time and you guys should be set to go so one tip to make the floor mats a little bit more flush I did pat down on the seat side of the floor mats because they do poke out a little bit just because of the seat being on them but you just got to pat it down a little bit and they do fit in flush so this is the final fitment I hope you guys did enjoy this video this was a quick video but there's nothing really much to this um, I just really wanted to showcase you guys F1 floor mats if you guys did like these floor mats, I will leave a link down in the description with the discount code and you guys can get some money off just for you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I do have plenty of videos coming, more interior videos, how to upgrade your interior, just little things to make your interior yours. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.